Hey, what's going on guys? Wildblood here. Thanks for stopping by and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the Halo Infinite beta So let's start off with these graphics, shall we? The graphics are actually really good I like how they made the characters look less plastic like like they looked in Halo 4 and Halo 5 if You remember those games the characters they look like their their armor and their leg parts and everything was like snap-on parts They were so bright and they looked so plasticky. They didn't even look like they were wearing metal armor It looked looked really trash, but thank God they reverted back and this game it looks good I like it and the uh, the maps, you know the lighting on the maps the textures everything was good everything was smooth uh, environments were good, looked clean, they were detailed. So overall, the graphics, no complaints here from me. Uh, let's move on to the guns here. The weapon arsenal 343 gives us here is pretty much the same stuff we're used to, you know, like the BR, the Needler, the AR, the rocket launcher, gravity hammer, energy sword, pulse carbine, and of course, our favorite sniper. Along with some new additions to the playground, such as the Heat Wave, which is a new energy weapon that has two firing modes, a vertical reticle and a horizontal reticle, for if you need a more narrow or wider shot, you know, depending on your situation. Um, and those bullets also bounce off walls, so if you're like in a tight little narrow corridor, you start bucking this Heat Wave, these bullets are bouncing everywhere, doing a little bit of AoE damage as well. It's pretty decent. My other new addition is the shock rifle, and it's a slow firing burst sniper rifle that fires five shots per burst in a single line. It's actually pretty nasty. Um, the skewer, which is pretty much just a reskinned Spartan laser. And there's, and there's, there's some more new weapons in there. So overall, I like the variety that they had of the weapons. I like the way the weapons looked, and I feel like there was a pretty good assortment of close range mid range and long range weapons like you got you can take your pick from either engagement distance so as far as the guns I like the guns it's a good variety they feel good to shoot I haven't spent a lot of time with a lot of them you know so I can't really test or judge like the reticle and all this stuff but for the most part most of the guns that I use felt good I have really no complaints here on the guns. Nothing stood out to me to be like, oh my god, this gun is awesome. Except for this one thing that's like a mass explosion of just energy fired at my facial features. And I don't even know what that thing's called. But I was killed by it a few times and it was it was rough. But yeah, I like the I like the guns. No complaints here from that. So let's move on to the map, shall we? Ain't really too much to say about the maps either. I mean there's ten of them in total. Three of them being for big team battle, and the other seven being for quick play and ranked. I really don't have any complaints yet. I feel like they're not too small. They're not too big. They have good lines of sights. They got nice little choke points. I never felt like I was, like I got hit and I was just stranded out in the open. Like there's usually cover, and even when you go around like the edges of the map, the corners of the map, I feel like they knew you could get into a fight there. So like there's cover everywhere. Um. Like I said, they had good lines of sight, good choke points, tons of little nooks and crannies that you can u utilize and take advantage for your close-up engagements. And, I mean, yeah, overall, the maps ain't, they're not bad, but they're nothing special. Nothing was like, oh my god, this map is trash, but nothing was like, oh my god, I love this map. It was just some basic-ass Halo maps, I guess, you know? But for the most part, no complaints. Um, let's talk about the movement system here. Um, it's pretty typical stuff. You got, you got your sprint, you got your, your, your B button slide like Call of Duty. Your characters do feel heavy, but not too much, and it's like, I'm okay with it. It's not a bad thing. Uh, you can jump and mantle, and also in your equipment slot, you can have a thruster or a grapple shot, which is pretty much a grapple hook, and it'll give you a little bit extra diversity in your movement but we'll touch on that here in a second so the movement system was fast it was fluid like I said you got your jump you got your sprint characters do feel kind of heavy and that pretty much covers that and it was good I got no problem no problem with the movement system 
Um, let's talk about just the equipment here now. So I believe there are six pieces of equipment, such as the thrusters, which I mentioned earlier, active camo, drop shield, a grapple hook, overshield, repulsor, and a threat sensor. Now most of these should be self-explanatory, but the repulsor is a new device. That is, it's pretty much like a telekinesis blast out of your wrist that deflects and launches nearby objects, vehicles, and bullets away from you. Which uh, I've tried to use that, like actually in the real fight, and it was, I seen that work. It was still pretty weird. The thrusters, you know, you just hit the button, you can thrust forward, or thrust to the left, or thrust to the right. A drop shield is pretty much an overshield. A threat sensor is pretty much like a threat sensor, you know, probably pops up on your radar. I feel like that was cool, because you can pick up equipment and it just automatically goes to your, your right bumper or your equipment slot, and you can choose when you want to use it. I thought that was, that was really cool. Um... Let's move on to game modes here. So all we can choose from at the moment is quick play, which consists of capture the flag, one flag, capture the flag, oddball, slayer, and stronghold. We have ranked arena, which is CTF, oddball, slayer, and strongholds, and big team battle, which is CTF, slayer, total control, which I don't even know what the heck that is, and stockpile. I mean, I feel this is one of my biggest complaints. I feel like the game modes are very limited, and I'm really not a big fan of any of these. I may get some hate for this, but I'm a huge SWAT player. I love Team SWAT. Like, that's that's what I'm trying to play. Like, where's it at? Let me get that. So, yeah, I mean, the, uh, the game modes could be a lot better. I'm not that impressed there. But I feel like in time, they'll add them back. All right, so let's let's get on to the customization slash battle pass here. Listen, I could spend an hour right here going in, but I'm not going to. All I'm gonna say is it's absolute trash and lazy work by three four three. You know, the season one noble team, whatever it is, all, this is all this armor. Oh man, all the armor inside of this battle pass that cost you ten bucks. This is all armor from all the old Halo games. From Halo Master Chief's collection, they just brought it over to this game, and now you got to pay for it. And when you buy the Battle Pass, you don't have like a regular XP in this game. You only get progression towards your Battle Pass if you complete challenges. So essentially, you could play this game for 12 hours, and if you didn't complete any challenges, you will make no progress. Like I have almost 20-something hours in the game, and I'm a level 3. Like, that's crazy. So I feel like they just took all the armor and some skins and stuff from all the old games, and they locked them behind a Battle Pass paywall, and it's going to be drip-fed to you. And I'm not cool with that. That is so lazy. Uh, that's just that's absolute trash. Like, I don't get to work for anything. I don't get rewarded for anything. It's all just money. I'm not cool with that. We need to fix this whole customization, maybe implement an XP bar and implement rewards with said XP bar. I don't know something, but this customization is absolutely trash and lazy. And I give them an F. <laughs> I give them an F for the customization. Oh, man. So, yeah, the Battle Pass customization is absolutely trash. They need a whole new system method there. All right, let's move on to the settings here. Not much to talk about here. Pretty standard stuff. Um, a cool thing they do have is they do have mappable buttons, so you can make your A button work with the right bumper, or whatever you can do. You can switch your buttons all around to do whatever. I thought that was pretty cool. They have an FOV slider. Um, I play on the Xbox Series S, so, you know, I'm locked at 60 FPS. And I believe Forge is coming. And theater mode, well, you know, theater mode is theater mode. You know, so... There you have it, guys. That's pretty much... My thoughts about this Halo 5 Infinite Beta. The graphics were good. The movement system was was good. The guns are good. The maps are just okay. Nothing real special there. The equipment was okay. You know, nothing too game-breaking or something that, like, it's not something that you want to pick up and never use. Like, it could be used, but it ain't OP. I've used almost all the equipment different times, and they all serve their purpose. So I'm cool with the equipment. I'm not cool with the game modes. It feels very limited. Like I want the whole Halo playlist. You know what I mean? Like Halo was more than four game modes. Like what is this? 
and the customization is absolutely trash. So, that's pretty much my overall thoughts of the Halo Infinite beta. I mean, it's a good Halo game. It's probably the best since Reach, in my opinion. It feels very Halo-ish with some new modern touches. It ain't go too crazy or different with any of the new or previous systems. And judging this game in the realm of arena shooters, shooters on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 7, you know? I feel like it provides what it was supposed to, which is tactical, fast-paced gunplay, and the TTK that enables there to be a decent little skill gap when considering the movement and weapon movement system and weapon systems. So I feel like if, if you enjoyed the basic Halo experience, I think you'll enjoy this one. So I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten, guys. And that's about to do it for me. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you later.